Hi tweens, my name is Felipe. I'm back with another Bible devotional for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about how there's a time for absolutely everything under the sun. And we're going to be reading from actually one of my favorite books in the Bible. It's called Ecclesiastes. And we're going to be reading from chapter 1, that's chapter 3, verse 1. But before we get into that, I want to show you guys something pretty cool. So come here. So what I'm about to actually show you guys is something that our family works into. Uh, we have it as a little hobby. And I'm going to show you guys a little part of our garden. Here it is. Can you guys guess what these plants are actually are? Take a look at them. I'll give you guys three more seconds to guess. Okay, time's up. It's actually lettuce. It's lettuce that we eat, like for example, for hamburgers, if you guys are gonna do a salad or anything like that. And right beside these fully grown lettuce, we have these plants. You guys, can you guys guess what these plants are? They're actually kale. If you come in a little bit closer, they're very small and they're not that ready to be done yet. But if we go here to the lettuce, the lettuce is finished and ready for us to harvest. So right now, it's time for us to harvest lettuce, but it's not time for us to harvest the kale yet. We planted it and we're waiting for it to grow. So that goes right into what we're going to be talking about today. And my man Solomon is going to be talking about that on, 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 on Ecclesiastes chapter 3. So let's get right into it. Right, now we're back. So let's read exactly what my man Solomon has in store for us. So we're starting from chapter 3, verse 1, going all the way to verse 8. And I'm reading the ESV version. So let's get into it. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to te tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Wow. That's actually a lot of the thing, a lot of things that uh, Solomon spoke about. So guys, why do you think we read this, uh, read this scripture from Solomon? There's so many things that are happening around us, around in the world right now. And I know you guys are very anxious to get back to what we think is normal and all that normal stuff in our lives. Going back to school, some of you, uh, some of you guys actually like that you're not at school. Uh, or just be able to go out and have fun with your friends and all that stuff. Like today, it's such a nice day. I know that all of you guys might want to be outside or some of you guys like to play Fortnite at home or whatever, but there is a time and place for everything. So right now, it might be the time for us to stay at home and to stay safe. Even though the weather might be good and might be really nice outside, God wants us to make sure that we are wise in the things that we need to do. So that's why we need to listen to our parents to understand what exactly there is, a, uh, what, what exactly the time is for all of these things. Anyway, that we have to learn from what my my man Solomon said. There's a time for every single thing that we do here on this life. There's a time for us to, for example, cut my hair, and there's a time to lead, let it grow. And what we have to learn out of all of these things is to listen to what have, God has in store for us. We might want to do something, we might want to act the way, a certain way that we should act, but we have to be patient and wait for the right time to act it. So guys, that's all I have in, That's all I have to tell you guys for today. I miss you, the whole Tweens ministry misses you, Pastor Zach, Alicia, Shanna, all of our leaders miss you, and I hope to see you guys very soon.